Hi everyone, Hannah here from Discover Dogs and it is camping season. So let's talk about what you need to pack for your dog to come camping with you. So let's go by category. First, we're gonna talk about meal time and hydration. So obviously if you're feeding raw, you're probably not gonna to wanna to bring a whole nother cooler with ice packs. Um, there is an alternative. There are a couple actually. One is just freeze dried food. So this is essentially raw with all the moisture removed. This is great, this one has 50 scoops in it. So this would last my 20 pound dog um, probably 30 days. So this would last me a couple camping trips in the season. You just add water to it to rehydrate it. it. Takes about 10 minutes, so feeding time will be super easy. For that food, you're gonna want a stainless steel bowl for good cleaning. Um, it is a raw product, so once it gets the hydration into it, you're gonna wanna make sure you're cleaning out the surfaces really well. If you're just feeding kibble, you could just pack two of these collapsible bowls. Um, I have one collapsible bowl for water and then the stainless steel for food. And obviously hydration is really important when you're out camping. So you're gonna wanna bring your dog probably their own water bottle. Since I'm feeding freeze dried, I might actually bring another like two liter water bottle for them to have on the side and this one just for the daytime. Okay, next let's talk about just around the campsite things that you'll likely want to have. One obviously is toys. If your dog is just hanging around and they're the type to play with toys, um, something really durable and easy to clean would be awesome. Anything from Westpaw is gonna fit that bill. This one here, this scamp is a really good option. There's three prongs to kind of play tug with. They can sit and chew on it if they wanted to. It does float. And like I said, really easy to clean off. So that's a really good option for those playful dogs coming camping with you. Another thing that dogs like to do, obviously, is chew. Um, I'm sure there will be lots of sticks where you're going, but those kind of sticks are likely not safe for them to chew on. So you're going to want to bring something that's safer for them to chew, basically. Um, this Gorilla Wood Chew here is a really good option. You can see this one has been started and it's just been kind of crumbling as your dog chews on it. So there's no shards that are going to go up into their soft palate um, or cause any issues, really. Um, so this is one of my favorite options just to leave around the house and it would be really great at a campsite. If those two are not doing it for your dog, you could also bring um, an edible chew. These are just some kangaroo jerky strips there. I would obviously recommend, you know, you'd want to be around for that and pick it up if your dog doesn't finish it because I'm guessing there's going to be wildlife where you're going. Um, and a sealable container like this would be helpful as well. On the topic of treats, uh, if you're out in the trails and you want to motivate your dog to come back to you, you might want some treats. Um, this one here is from Straight to Summit. This is my dog's favorite, the water buffalo bite. Any of your dog's favorites will do, of course. And a little treat pouch here to bring them with you when you're in the trails. This is the essential treat bag. Um, it's got a little drawstring there to keep it closed when you need to, and it does have a poo bag dispenser there. Speaking of poo bags, um, you might be going somewhere where you need to pack in and pack out. This is made specifically for that. So it's a waterproof and sealable pouch that you just wear on your pocket here. It does come with a belt as well if you wanted to wear that. Um, and you dispense the poo bags just through there. And then yeah, no smell, pack in, pack out, responsibility. Last but not least, around the camping site, you'll probably want to tie your dog up. Um, if they're like my dog who's very sniffy and is gonna wanna go explore, very far out where they shouldn't be. Something like a long line is awesome. This is a 30 foot um, from Gnarly Dog. It's made of biothane, so it's super strong, waterproof, durable, and I like that it's kind of a brighter color. They've got lots of bright colors. Um, and this one does come with a carabiner, so you can kind of wrap it around a tree or a stake or something like that and kind of fix it up. Um, if you don't have one with a carabiner on it already, I would recommend bringing one. These are just really handy to have when you're camping anyway. Um, but it has two sides here, so you can attach the leash to one side, um, attach it around something else. Okay, next let's talk about safety. Uh, one thing that might be really helpful is just a little light that you can attach to your dog's collar so you can see where they are at night. You're not gonna be tripping over them. Um, if they do happen to get out, you can find them more easily. This is the one from Roughwear. It's just a little light like that. It's USB rechargeable, so don't forget to charge that before you leave home. What I like about it is its size. It has a little clip on the back, so you can put it onto their harness or on the top around their collar. And it's waterproof, so that's great. If you are gonna get wet, you don't have to worry that your light is gonna be non-functioning anymore. 
obviously you're gonna want to bring a first aid kit for yourself and also for your dog. The first aid kit you bring for yourself will likely have most of the things your dog needs. So sometimes I just like to bring a big first aid kit and add in a couple dog specific things into it. So I've got my vet wrap here. You can use that to wrap up a gauze around a wound. Um, it's self-adhesive, it's really handy. This here is just an ointment similar to a polysporin, but for dogs, um, same idea. It's just lickable so they can, you know, if they have an injury, possibly get to it and not be poisoned by the polysporin. Do you recognize this from our previous video? This is the tick twister. So that's probably something that's not going to be in your first aid kit, though you can use it for yourself as well. It's just a super handy um, specialized tool for taking ticks out. And then last but not least for the first aid kit, you're going to want to bring a muzzle. Um, it doesn't have to be a Baskerville muzzle like this for emergencies. This is like a comfortable muzzle that dogs can wear for longer periods. Um, but when dogs are hurt, they are likely to bite. So muzzle train your dogs and bring one with you in your first aid kit. Um, some other honorable mentions for the safety category would be a cooling bandana. If it gets really hot, you want to make sure they're not overheating. Um, and if you're going somewhere where you're going to be paddle boarding or anything like that, obviously you do want to bring a life jacket for your dog. You know, they can probably swim, but we also can swim and we wear life jackets. So it's important to have, and it's really handy to have this little handle on top to pick them up on the paddle board and that sort of thing as well. Lastly, let's talk about nighttime. So in your tent with you, if you're bringing your dog, might be nice to have a little mat specifically for them. You can also just obviously leave this around the campsite for them to snuggle in on. An extra blanket's a good idea just in case it gets extra cool in the evenings and you don't want to give up your blanket for your dog. Um, speaking of the cool evenings for dogs with shorter hair, bringing their sweaters is going to be helpful and obviously bringing a jacket as well. If it starts to rain, you could bring that if you're you know, going on a hike as well um, or even just around the campsite if they feel like sniffing around but they don't want to stay under the tarp or things like that. Head to our website for links to all of these products, as well as the full camping list and some extra suggestions. If you guys go camping with your dogs, tag us in a photo and we might repost it. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section down below and we'll get back to you.